this suitcase into a little coffee table standing this way. And I want to have these two, this board double across. Now this is an old board off of my deck that I just pulled off a while back. Basically got nails in it that, and I'm going to take the nails out and make it look like, what do they call it, retro furniture? Whatever you would want to call it. Industrial furniture, repurposed furniture, all those new names, new names for recycling old wood here. So what I'm going to do is take out the nails, cut it in two halves, and that in half, from here to here, and cut it, and then put make make them look decent, and I'll show you how, and then put them on the suitcase. But first, I'll uh, prep the wood and cut it. Stubborn nails. See as much wood as I can, I suppose. Here's my cut. Just gotta go grab a, just gotta go grab a saw. So first cut. chips to stay. It enhances the uh, end product here. Right. Take a right angle. And we're going to run it right across there. And then we're going to saw it. Right. Both sides look basically the same. Good. I'm going to cut it in half with my horse saw again. Yeah, what I've got here is um, yeah, just a grinder, high revs, and I got the um, a disc on that burns a bit. And I'm just gonna go over this board like this with this grinder and give it a bit of an old look. I just need earphones, and you should wear glasses. For safety, I'm gonna put on earplugs and gloves and safety glasses, right? Always wear gloves when you're using this kind of equipment. And here's another uh, guard you can use if you wanted to for grinding and that. It's really good, it protects your toe. Any flying disc or anything. So, um, so what I'm doing is making random patterns here. Don't grind all the way in, make it burn a little so you get burn marks. This will give it that kind of old look. I still have these edges to do a little bit. This one's done, you can see. But I'm still going to use the sand. This needs so still the edge done here, see? I haven't done the edges yet. Or this edge, or this edge. So you can see the difference. But I've done here, and here. And I got burn marks in it. And you can see here I've done the edges. Right? I got, that's got a lovely look to it, that side, the two sides now. I got a little bit of burn marks in here, we'll clean up in a minute. Okay, I'm going to go for a cup of tea. It isn't really, I'll go back so you can see me, ah, oh, where I'll put it, it isn't really, there we go, it isn't really about how quick you can do it, it's about doing a nice job and getting the kind of old patina look that you want. So, you know, whether it's an hour, hour and a half, or two hours, it doesn't matter as long as it looks really beautiful in the end. So, let's go. Uh, time for a cup of tea, 
and we'll go to the next step. Well, a cup of tea is take a break, it's raining. My grinder shut off the bench. The switch had got faulty and I had to stop and fix that. So today is one of those days where things are not exactly going smoothly, but hey, I'm going to work my way through it. So I decided cup of tea, break. And even better, cigar. Ooh, I don't really smoke. I deserve to have a cigar today, especially the way things are going. You know, the way sometimes you just have a mishap or, you know, grinder doesn't work and then something else doesn't work. Well, that's what I'm working through today. I'm sure you've all done it before. I'll get through it. For a non-smoker, I'm not doing bad. If I inhaled it, I'd most likely be sick. <laughs> ah, what a life. It's a tough life, but somebody's got to do it. Put on a light to help let you see what I'm doing. I put on, on my grinder now a sand disc. Now I've had issues, I've had this, this um, grinder switch break, so I've had to hot wire it, so basically it goes directly into the motor. So now my switch doesn't work at all. So just when I plug it in, it drives up. It's a little bit more dicey, but I can't do anything about it. Can I get a switch? So what we're going to do is we're going to just stand here. So I'm going to sand that lightly until I get the effect, I, desired effect I want. I might even have to put the other disc on and burn a little bit more and then do it again. But I'll keep this doing this until I get uh, the desired table effect I want. And then I'll put the boards together and do them together. Like in, a, in the seam like this. I'll do that. I'll sand them together like that so that there are some marks that go across. It looks like it was done in one piece. So you guys, in between the grinding and the burning and then the sanding with the disc, this is what I got. Oop, I'm out of the light there. There we go. Right? And basically these two are going to go together like this to form the table now. As you can see, the stressed look has turned out very nicely. Now all we got to do is finish it off later on. Yes, so I've decided to use the linseed oil. So we're going to start doing that. We'll pour a little bit on here. There we go. As you can see, it's making the wood a lovely color. And we'll just, just use a nice clean cloth and get it in there and see what we got. You can see the difference already in the wood. It'll soak in after a while too. Isn't that lovely? There we go. It's a lovely um, smell off linseed oil. I feel like you're keeping the wood pure. Oh, it's soaking. You have gotta do the sides yet. Oh, look at that. That lovely color. And there you go, here's the two halves completed for my table. Huh? On an old 2x6 with nails in it. It's going to be thrown away. And get these on a construction site, they chuck ends all the time. I decided to put this white in here, this little block of wood in here. I'm going to white glue it in right now and let it dry. I gotta maybe string it together with a bit of rope or wire, keep it tight. But my, the idea is right. Yeah. yeah, so I don't have, um, I don't have, uh, 
vices or anything to put, or a clamps that are big enough to clamps this. So I'm using the old fashioned method nylon, nylon rope or some kind of rope or wire, and then you put the screwdriver through and twist here, and it tightens up. It does work. You just have to know how to do it. There we go, and then you put it back underneath there like that for your eyes. Pretty good. Just level it a bit. Open your eyes like this. What I'm gonna do is let this dry now. I got a weight on here so that it doesn't bow up, keep the pressure down on it, keeps it tight. Let's just hope it dries right. Yeah, I'm getting close to finishing. But I want to show you this, what you can do with this wood on this. I'm most likely gonna do it myself because I really like the idea. This is a little bit more modern table. It's an old projector table, as you can see, right? But it's a fold-up one. So if you're in an apartment, you can take this, pull this out, bang, it folds down, and you have a lovely fold-away table. All you have to do is take these brackets off this and put them on the bottom on my other wood, and you'll have a modern style table here like that. See? I just tilt it down so you can see the legs. See, there you go, and you can have a lovely fold up table then. Right? And it's a different style to the suitcase, so now you've got modern and old instead of an old and old. That's that. I want to show you what I did to this since we talked last. I um, had a split here that was uh, causing problems and it was going to maybe break off. So I put uh, sawdust in yellow, uh, white glue and put it in here and in this crack and filled it up so that it's solid and it's black. And there's my two by two in between, make it a bit larger. And on the back I actually put two metal strips across, drill four holes and screwed them in to make sure it's solid. And now I'm going to epoxy this on here, on this table measure it and epoxy it on and it is complete. So there you go. I'm just going to get the epoxy and show you how to do that. I'm just going to put a whole pile of, of LePage uh, AX it says here. Stronger plus four. It's LePage construction glue. It's really strong. I'm going to put it across this bar here much as I can. This gun is, this glue is very hard to press out. And across this one. Should be enough to hold it really. I'm going to put the case down like this and then measure each side on this epoxy and leave it dry for 48 hours. Let's see how that fits for a sec. We can put a bit of weight on this in the end. Make sure it's epoxied on. And basically there's your table finished. I'm gonna wipe the glue off a little bit here. Make sure there's no showing on these so it looks professional. All right, toolbox on top now. Mostly I put it on the floor and put a toolbox on top and leave it sit for 48 hours.